Okay. And now to continue. A large mirror. Cool. A map drawn in crayon. Cat meowed as if it wanted to prevent Elizabeth from randomly drawing on it. Infirmary, bathroom, Sybil's room. Okay. That's the infirmary. Goodness. Matches, thank you. More matches. Lamb. Seems to still be functional, but there is no light bulb inside. It's a two digit number lock. I don't know that one. Chocolate. Matches. Well, I got a key, didn't I? to the bathroom. Maybe it's the first door then. I read the map wrong, which would not surprise me. Uh do 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 it's the bathroom. Oh do with the key! Oh, okay. Oh well, this is ominous, isn't it? Pinocchio. Once upon a time there was a lonely carpenter. He received a piece of talking wood and thus made a pair of lifelike dolls from it. They were so cute that even the fairy loved them. So she promised as long as Pinocchio obediently went to school she would be its mother and it would become a real boy. Okay. That they different. I'm not going to find anything else am I? A tub was filled with water. Uh filled with water. Okay. Well. There's lots of draw on it. Uh, do I have anything to draw on it with, darling? That cheese. Chocolate. Cool. Height restriction was written with paint. It was locked. Cool. Scholar. Key to the display room. Matches. Opening hours 416. Okay. Overcast day. Matches. And matches. More matches? And chocolate. Okay. The mouse did get me, didn't it? Now then, where's the display room? That's first floor, so is it on the second? Oh, it's a gallery, isn't it? Ah, okay, okay, okay. So I need to go back down. Oh, I just used a match. Oh. Eternal burning hatred. Which one was the display? I think it's the first one. Oh no, it's right down on the first floor. Oof. Doing a lot of walking in this one, Elizabeth. That's that's the upstairs, the newly appointed upstairs. Ow. Yes, we've got the display room and the piano room left, haven't we? This one? Display room, here we go. I'll do it with the key. Okay, what horrors have you got for me in here? Yikes. Childbirth. Gnossians? There were keyholes above the two palms. Ooh, ooh. Insert the key. Is the key. Gnossians. There were carvings on the pedestal. And Z. Okay, I need to write that down. I still haven't got anything for the witch's wooden puzzle yet. Uh, figure I'm gonna. Oh, well, I'll know what that's for when I see it. Hmm. 
that one shattered into bits. Lovers. Venus. Elizabeth. There's a hat. Take it down. Sure. Get witch's hat. Cool. So breaking in here. I pick a sail poked out. Ah! He stirred up clouds of dust as he ran out with a panicked yell. Take the eyes back. Sure? Weird doll. Don't know if I needed the eyes back. I do recall actually needing to change this back to four o'clock anyway. Well, oh, what four sixteen? But I need to find the another hand for the clock if that's the case. Yep. That should open that room. Then get back to Marguerite's room and then hopefully find this last flaming pig. Because that is all I know of what I'm doing right now. <laughs> okay. It's open. I saw him, I saw him, I saw him. There. Wah! He actually scared Elizabeth when he jumped up. Has everyone been caught? This isn't fair. Our turn to be it then. Hurry and hide, we'll count to a hundred. A red crayon has dropped on the ground. Ah, okay. I, I need the crayon. Right, finally. Hopefully that'll mean the end of the big bad wolf song that I have to edit out of every video so far. Ooh, someone giggled. Do not giggle at me. It's because it's taken me absolutely ages to find the last pig. Right then. Red crown. Let's draw on it. Yes. Ooh. Oh! There's nothing here. Uh... Okay. Is there really nothing here? That's all? She made me jump <laughs> so badly. Found you. Okay. I wasn't supposed to move, was I? Okay. Those pigs have issues. I'm moving slowly. That wasn't supposed to happen. Let's go back to the infirmary. I've officially freaked myself out. I didn't know I was supposed to be moving. Two. 
So we'll open these all up now. Oh, get no. Now what would that be then? Okay. Interesting. Fascinating. It wasn't locked, but yet the drawer wouldn't open. Rules for assigning sick beds. Angelica, fear of loneliness, needs to stay with a crowd. Bechstein, claustrophobia, cannot remain within an enclosed space. Ferdinand, values privacy. Hilda, traumatised from disaster, mindful of exits. Emmerich, doesn't like people. Cool. Oh, I got that eye back, didn't I? You're missing a nose. You're missing a whole face. Insult in its face? Yeah, sure. Oh, I need another eye. Not sure what to do with that just yet. Okay. Uh, height restriction. Pointy hat, like witch's hat. Wearing it will make you seem taller. Wear the hat, yes. Well, hey! A star shaped toy. Okay. Lift the bed covers. Sure. A pair of scissors were stabbed into the stuffed bear. Can I not have the scissors? Uh, cool. Small box with an encrypted lock. There was something behind it. Light bulb. Cool. All the stairs, chairs and rabbits in this room. Okay, that's an easy one. Stairs, chairs and rabbits. Make a record, yep. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Locked. Slightly up and die at the top of the keyhole. Uh, stairs, chairs and rabbits. Stairs. Oh, stars. There we go. Oh, it's you two again. More gold coins will grow if you bury one underneath the tree. Don't listen to liars. Okay. Teddy. Fifteenth August. The worst has happened. Her body's condition has never been the best, even with her improved mental health, so I've been prepared for a miscarriage. I thought Mr. Valentine's visit would shock her at most. Who would have thought that such a thing would happen after they fought? Although we'll never see him again. There's nothing particularly wrong with Marguerite's body. She'll be able to recover after a proper amount of rest and recovery, but her judgement is not optimistic. She thinks that she only slept for a bit and anxiously asks me, where is the child? This is such a grand house, he is such a good man, and she would have been such a good wife. What went wrong? It's not what they're gossiping about. She only dreamed a dream that any ordinary girl would have made. Please don't let her wake up. That was what I pleaded with him. Hmm. It said a homunculus possesses all the knowledge in the world when it is born. It will impart the alchemist all the secrets of the natural world over the course of a year. But the little figure in the flask will slowly die from continued exposure to air. I am beginning to wonder if this little girl is a homunculus. If Marguerite never had her child in the first place. Then maybe this girl doesn't actually exist. Right now. Ninja. I am sure this has something to do with this.
bang. Metal key. Thank you. Hello? Found you. Oh dear. What are you doing in there? Come on out. Why don't you play with us? Come on out. This, there's just going to be a bit of pain. Come on out. You have to be a good sport if you play. Come on out. 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 Hide in here? Yes. Oh dear. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have picked the one without a lid. <laughs> right, I need to make a run back upstairs then. Because I've got a light bulb now. That's down. <laughs> upstairs. And I need to plant a gold coin behind a tree, apparently, at some point. It's functional, no light bulb inside. Light bulb was installed. 6280. Is it that easy? Or is it 0829? Is it upside down? I'm going to write both. 0829. Just in case. Because <laughs> I no longer trust this game. Right, let's go back to the room where the little pigs chased me out. So this is when had the doll not been in our hand. Scissors were gone. Oh. Little one shine your ringing light was engraved in the box. But right, I'm going to try the shadow version, the upside down one. Let's have a feeling. Ha! Yes! Clock hand! Ah! Right. So I need to go back down now. Well, I need to bury a coin anyway, don't I? So I've got two things to do down here. Go to the clock first, because I know where that is. It's in here. Moseying up. Uh, what was the time again? It was 4.16. Quarter past, so there, roughly. I'm assuming that'll do it. Okay, now how do I get. Like way upstairs. <laughs> Two jitten number lock, that's not that. Which one's the bathroom? It's this one, isn't it? I won't I walked right past it. Water started automatically flowing out of the faucet after it was connected. Water flowed out endlessly. Okay. Uh, okay. I suppose that did whatever that did. I should have opened another door with the clock. Uh, Not that one, that was already open. This one? Oh. 
It's like a mirror of uh, downstairs. It is. Who's that? Is that her aunt? It is said three is one. The song of the juniper tree. Father of lies. A blank sheet of paper. Walpurgis night. Strange double digit numbers. 8641. Ancient evil. Walpurgis. It was locked. Sight the shut eye on top of the keyhole. Tightly shut eye. Opened it with a key. Cool. Matches. More matches. Life preserver and inner tube. Swimming tube. Oh, I didn't, I didn't actually know she was going to pick that up. A painting of the sea. Huh. Chocolate. I know there's someone on the wall that I'll get that in a minute. Plaque bacteria take up residence in rats. Is that plaque or plague? I assume it's supposed to be plague. Bacteria take up residence in rats and other small mammals and spread to humans via infected fleas on the animal. If intimate contact is established with the skin of an, an of an infected animal, then the infection may spread through bites and scratches. If the virus travels to the lungs, it will spread through saliva. Dual orientation means simultaneously experiencing two kinds of either environmental, time, place or people. One of the experiences is correct and the other is a result of delusional determination or explanation. A patient could believe that their current location is both a hospital and a jail, or that this is a hospital on the surface but a jail in reality. Okay. Many brain afflictions will cause the patient to develop obstacles in decision making and orientation. Obstacles in orientation are significant barometers of consciousness ob or conscious obstacles, but obstacles in orientation do not necessarily indicate conscious obstacles. For instance, alcoholic patients may also develop obstacles to orientation. What on earth? Orientation has to do with the observation and recognition of time, place, people and one's own condition. The former is labelled as environmental orientation and the latter as self-orientation. Spatial orientation involves identifying whether it is currently day or night, morning or afternoon, and what year, month and day it is. Ecographic orientation denotes familiarity of one's current location. People orientation indicates the analysis of our identity of those in the patient's immediate surroundings. Self-orientation is the knowledge of the patient's own name, gender, age, profession, etc. Okay, I sort of get that. Elizabeth is happy to be here, but I won't be deceived, but I won't be deceived. Hmm. The reflection on face is an expression. Our inner conflicts, the neurotic pro personality of our time, self-analysis. Elite row of tattered and illegible photo albums. A locked safety deposit box. If I was carved into the door. Okay. A painting of a flower. A painting of a flower. I don't have a flower, do I? No. Twentieth August. At Elizabeth's insistence, the other child has stayed as well. We agreed not to separate them. That man filled out the paperwork for adopting the two children, but we only allow Elizabeth to appear in front of Marguerite. So I usually stand outside the door with the other. Marguerite focuses only on where is her child. Her thought process regarding significance is not as clear. I know this isn't a good thing, but she smiled at me. Hmm. Painting of a flower. Can I do anything with this? Do I know this? Um, just going to go through my notes for a second. Ah, I wonder if it's the beds. Hang on. Yes! Beds it is. Well, I've just broken the rules. I've just killed it. 23rd August. The thing that I've been most afraid of has happened. Margarita started to intermittently not recognise who I am. But her symptoms in other areas have improved. And she even looks to be in a good mood. I tell myself that there's nothing to be sad about. The child stood outside again with me today, talking with her doll. She displayed a very similar expression to mine. Continuing this stalemate is not the right way forward either. 
I tried to give her some chocolate. Metallic key. It's the eye half open. Oh god, where did I see that? I went down to avoid you. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay. Oh! Hello. It's you again. What on earth is that person looking at? Elizabeth thought, but didn't have the courage to ask. So she stooped down. The person's empty eyes remained vacant hollows, and didn't waver from the mirror with even with an additional person next to oneself. Hey. Elizabeth said, This is for you. She took out some chocolate. It's really good, she said. I don't want it. What do you want? She wasn't sure, so she thought for a long while before responding. I have a lot. Liar. The person underneath the big hat stood up and threw out a mystifying accusation. Then, as if the conversation never happened, tapped away on silent footsteps. Okay. A large mirror. Are they twins then? Ah, oh, no, I'm not sure. I thought they were homunculus at first, but now I'm not. I just don't know. Uh. Two digit number. Uh, it's from the gallery, isn't it? Ah, there we go. A tree that's grown out of the floorboards. Ah, now can I plant the coin? Bury the gold coin. Yes. Shoot it into the tree roots. A tree with the gold coin at its roots. Cool. Okay. Paper and ink, do you want to make a record? Yeah, go on then. Elizabeth likes that woman, but I won't be deceived. But I won't be deceived. They must be twins. They must be. Okay, so I'll see if that did anything. Whoa. A stark white face has grown on the tree. Face. Okay. Okay. Oh! Lamb. Hello, creepy. I don't need to be near. Bitterness. <laughs> Face is following me. Uh. Okay. Of course, to speak of summer is to think of the beach. The demon showed off its inner tube as it raised its voice, frivolously acting as if there was no an audience seating in the front. Elizabeth was dumbfounded by the scene and hesitated quite a while before opening her mouth to say, This isn't the sea. A real sea wouldn't have the smell of chlorine and the sky wouldn't be drawn on. She originally thought that the demon would smile and play dumb. But unexpectedly, it wasn't kidding and brought its face close with dissatisfaction. Please, how would you know? You've never been to the sea. That guy with the big hat hasn't been to the sea either. No longer surprised that he knew everyone, Elizabeth asked calmly, Who is that person? A liar. Its footsteps kicked up spray from the sea. No matter what that person says, it's all untrue. Best not to listen. Best not to get too close. The demon said as it strolled behind her, using a sickly sweet voice to repeat, Be careful, be careful. Elizabeth had no intention of taking its suggestion. She felt that the person with the melancholic air was quite familiar, as if they had met each other somewhere before, but couldn't quite recall the details. She just felt that she knew the one with the hat. What? You say you do, you know who? But the demon bent over with laughter. Don't say silly things. No one knows you're here. 
You don't have a single friend here. But if we really must, then there's only... It raised its sleeves high, only to discover that there was only an empty space before him. Ignoring the waves and laughter behind her, Elizabeth made her way through the beach, hoping that all would revert to normal once she opened the door again. Interesting. Ah. Liars will be eaten by sharks. Don't listen to liars. The water in front was too deep. Hang on, because I have... Ah, there's the face on my thing! <laughs> Wear it? Yes. But that was only one of them. Ah! Ah, let me move! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> was that supposed to happen? Uh, yes. A glass bottle. Aye. Well, I need that for the bear. Is it because they only needed one little boy? The remaining wooden dog comforted himself, but the fox jumped out. But why wasn't it you? You two look exact, the exact same. But why wasn't it you? This is too unfair. North Rhine. Wuppertal Comprehensive Sanatorium. Children's Room. Code of Conduct. Do not engage in unruly behaviour. Do not dirty the surroundings. Do not walk out of the room. Okay. Hmm. Do not leave leftovers. Do not be a picky eater. Do not eat too much. Sounds a bit like a jail rather than a uh, sanatorium. Can't ask little kids not to eat too much. Such are their job. Eat things and grow. Be healthy. And all that jazz. <laughs> Do not lie. Do not sleep late. Do not leave. Bit more sinister now. <laughs> Probably going to regret opening one of these. Or not. Paper and ink. Do you wish to make a record? Sure. Okay. I'm just sitting here with my life preserver on. <laughs> the glass rings with sweet power. It darkens, clears. It must have being. In a delicate form I see appear. A well-behaved little man behaving. What can the world ask more? What can we? Faust. House is weird. Hello. You're inside, right? Did you take the eyes? Ah. I don't think he can see. Make a sound if you're in there. Oh gosh, I've got to be quiet, haven't I? You're very special. Only you two haven't been sent away. Only you two will get a daddy and a mummy. Cool. Cool. Oh my gosh.
Where am I supposed to go? Oh my gosh. Go away. Go away. Ah, go away, I'm not down here. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> oh. She can't walk at angles. Ah. <sighs>